Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome if you're new here. Today we have an unboxing of one of the newest styles from Hermes. It's a new handbag. It's quite an interesting style. I really, really loved it when I first saw it. I saw it not a long ago and I was lucky to find it online. You know, there is a lot of amazing gems that you can find online if you just check every once in a while. And so this bag was one of them. You know, I just sent the link to my husband for him to like check it out and see uh, what he thinks about the bag. And then he sends back the screenshot of him completing the purchase. <laughs> like, wow. Okay, thank you so much. And so here it is as arrived. So big bags are super trendy right now. Everybody wants a larger handbag. So at first I was thinking that Birkin 35 is the only way to go with our mess at least. I was considering other brands, but then, you know, my husband just told me, listen, just go for a mess and 35 is the only larger size um, of a bag that I saw and then I saw this one it's quite huge as you can see so let's unbox it and see it's completely different from a Birkin by the way but it's really cool There is a lot of bubble wrap. And here it is. So the new bag that I got is the Hermes Arson. This is what it's called. And this is a new bag that I believe was released for spring summer 2023 show. And it was all over the runway this year for spring summer collection so i'm pretty sure this bag is here to stay it's so cool i love that it has a very contemporary look for hermes this is such a breath of fresh air it's going a little bit away from kelly and birkin and constance so this is a completely um, new design completely new style this is a more once again contemporary utilitarian style just like the cargo style of their bags that this is why i'm wearing this cargo jacket i thought it was just very appropriate for the handbag the unboxing but what i loved is this pocket i'm going to show you all about it so i did look up a little bit of the information about this bag so what it says online is it's in h canvas and swift calfskin um so you see, this is all calf skin, and this is their canvas. It also exists in a full leather version. I'm not sure if it has any lining inside whatsoever. I haven't seen it in leather version, only on the display um, at um, my local Hermes boutique, but I never tried it on. I just admired the look. Um, it has a shoulder strap, a wide shoulder strap with Atelier buckle. So here is the buckle. It has a little dust bag on it. The buckle is quite impressive. It's huge. Remove this strap. So here it is. And we can remove the silicone protection as well. So this is what it looks like. Um, then what else does it say? and leather detail, interior canvas pocket, zipped exterior pocket, and palladium pl plated hardware. So <laughs> this is everything they tell you about the bag um, on the website. Now, here's the strap, and here you have all of these holes for the buckle, so you can really adjust the length. So I'll show you. Here is the very first one. And it even has the numbers. So this is number five, and then it goes down to number four, three, two, and one as the very last one. 
So here's the very first hole and this way you can only wear it on your shoulder like this or on the crook of your arm. Very cool. Then we can go down to number four. It's a bit longer. <laughs> to number three. That's like the medium length, I would say. It's a more comfortable shoulder um, way of carrying the bag. Then there is number two over here. Or number one. I think my favorite is number two. So this is the longest. With the number one, I don't like that, you know, it because it just looks a bit awkward, the, the rest of the strap. Number three is cute, but I don't know. I really prefer the length of number two, so I'll keep it at number two. Um, you cannot really crossbody it. The strap is still quite short for that. But I think it just looks so cool. So, what else does it have? Over here it has this snap hook. Here it is. And you can attach a charm or gloves or whatever you want. Maybe like a coin purse. Something to the bag. Which is quite cool on the exterior. Because there is just so much space over here. And over here we have a zip pocket. I really love this pocket because the way it was on the runway is the models were wearing the bag like this with their hand inside the pocket and this is what sold the bag for me I just think it's so cool it's so cool and so different so the pocket itself is very large you can actually fit your entire hand inside it's so spacious and it's a full leather pocket and then over here this is what the bag looks like the interior of the bag it's plain it doesn't have any lining it has the Hermes stamp and on the other side it has this leather sorry the strap is just in the way it has this leather pocket which is a part of the exterior compartment but it is still like a tiny pocket it's very small actually and i think you can only fit maybe a pen a lipstick something very tiny it's not too big this is what the bag looks like at the back and I really, really love this hobo shape of it. It's very lightweight because it's canvas. I like the combination of the colors. These are very neutral, earthy colors. And with the style, the hobo plus utilitarian look, I think it is such a cool, contemporary, fresh design for a mess. And I really love this round shape of the bag. I think it is also very, very stunning. And we have this leather detail all over the back and this leather part kind of keeps the shape of it our stone bag introduces a new round format with a generous volume sleek design and a bold signature um, gloves or a charm as i said can be attached to the bag thanks to its snap hook over here that's all we've got um, so the dimensions are 35 by 28 by 5 and the strap length goes from 41 centimeters to 69 and as i said yes it is way too short to crossbody it if it was at least 100 <laughs> we could make it work 69 that's a little bit too short but here it is super cool just you know a very easy bag to throw in and go do your errands around the city it still has this luxurious feel to it and I just love it.
I love it so much and I think this is the perfect larger like hobo slash tote bag for me and I couldn't be happier. I'm not even sure if I prefer leather, like a full leather style of this bag or mixed with canvas. It looks nicer with canvas in my opinion. Full leather looks kind of, I don't know, kind of plain while compared to this one. But at the same time, I feel like leather would be a better option long term. Canvas tends to get dirty faster and it's just more complicated to maintain it in my opinion than full um, calfskin leather. So that's something to you know, really think about when you're purchasing this bag or any kind of canvas bag. If it were in a black color, that would be a different story because black is just easier overall or any darker shade really. But this one is a very light bag, so I do understand that I'll have to be extra careful with it, but, but I'm still super duper happy about it and I cannot wait to rock it. What do you guys think about this new style, the Arson bag? Let me know in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram, it's at and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!